Hello and welcome to Tom's Toolbox. I'm your host, Tom Clark, and today we're going to introduce you to Warner Linear's K2X with external or EP limit switches and show you how to adjust them to fit your application. Now, as always, you want to observe proper lockout tag out practices for safety's sake. This could be hooked up to power, so we want to lock out and tag out to make sure everybody's safe. Speaking of which, we're going to put on the appropriate PPE for today. You should do the same for whatever the job calls for. I've got my glasses. Remember, Safety is always priority number one. Now, a key part of any linear actuator application is the switching that will stop the unit when it reaches the end of its stroke or travel. Some customers provide their own end of travel switching while others use actuators that include internal end of stroke limit switches. EP units have external limit switches that can be simply adjusted. They mount to the sides of a very robust aluminum cover tube. Now in the EP design, two magnetic proximity switches are mounted to the side of the cover tube. They're under the black plastic cover that runs along the access of the cover tube. There is a magnet internal to the actuator mounted to the nut which triggers the switch. When units leave the factory, they're going to be set for their maximum stroke. But if you want less than those values, you can easily adjust them. The first step is going to be to carefully remove the end cap on the channel cover. And you're going to use something like a blunt-ended tool, maybe a flathead screwdriver, so that you don't damage the plastic cap. So I'll do that real carefully. OK, I got that off right there. There's my end cap, so I'm good to go. Then I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to slide the cover off the channel. I want to be careful of that as well. There we go. How about them apples? All right, you want to be very careful. You don't want to damage that cover during the process. Now, before you change the switch position, make a mark or note where the switches are. These will be the home position for these switches if you ever want to go back to a full stroke length. I've got myself a magic marker right here. So there I'm good to go. Those are the ends. So that's going to be the maximum stroke. Now to adjust the switch, we're going to use a 1 16th size Allen wrench to loosen. We'll slide it into the desired position and then gently tighten the set screw. All right, so I'm going to do that there. I think it's about an inch. Tighten that up. Make my mark. So if I ever need to go back to that length right there, I'll know where it is. So I've reduced the stroke by about an inch, and you may need to reposition the wires as well. Now, when you are done with the adjustment, you'd replace the cover, put the end cap back on, and then you are good to go. By relocating the switch, we have effectively changed the stroke length of the unit. Care should be taken to not move the switch past where the extension tube can travel or the unit will simply continue to run as the magnet won't be able to reach the limit switch. The switches are fully sealed and IP65 or IP69K tested and approved. The switches will sense a change in magnetism, so you want to ensure that no external magnetic fields are close to the actuator to avoid false activation. To verify that the switches are working, you can use a magnet on the end of a wand, which will cause the switches to actuate, or you can offer the version like the model that we're using today, where an LED will activate on the actuator to indicate the unit has reached the end of travel. The EP series units allow for field adjustment of the travel for both extend and retract, so you can achieve the amount of unit travel that you need. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. If you have any questions on anything you saw, just contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out. As you can see, I just took off my PPE. But remember, you need to wear it for whatever the job calls for. Safety is priority number one. Number two, as I always tell you, go to the website, mihowto.com, and you can check out other great videos like this one with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.